the family that prays together stays together. Welcome to today's program, Doctrinal Reflection. Today's theme is Mary as the Mother of God. My name is Seminarian Namasambu Joaquin Charles from the Catholic Diocese of Kakamega. When we talk about Mary, in the first century, the name Mary was commonly used among the Israels and the Palestine. But in this case, when we talk about Mary as being the mother of God, we are talking about a Jewish woman who lived in a village of Nazareth in Israel. She was born of Joachim and Anne, now Saints Joachim and Anne, whose feast day is always on the 26th of July each year. When we talk about Mary as mother of God, let's first see her, her as a young girl. Mary as a young girl, she was a girl who was sent to stay in the temple. At the temple, she took part in sewing and weaving until the age of 12. And as it was always the culture and the tradition among the Jews, once a woman, once a girl, began to experience her menstrual cycles, she was termed to be unclean, hence not coming into contact with holy places or holy persons or holy things. So we see that Mary left the temple for home at the age of 12. Mary, being the mother of God, can also be referred as Theotokos. Theotokos is a Greek word which means God's bearer. Theo means God, Kos means bearer, hence Mary is the mother of God. The word Theotokos came and was strongly defended by the Council of Ephesus of 431, which came to affirm that Jesus is totally human and he is totally divine. He both has the humanity and divinity as a person, hence bringing out the hypostatic union that is totally man, is fully man, is totally divine, and is fully divine. The world was made flesh and dwelt among us, incarnation. We see that when we say and tell and recall about Mary as the mother of God, it has got scriptural foundation. It has got its basis from the Bible. As we read the letter from St. Paul to the Galatians, chapter four, verse four, we see that God sent forth his son, born of, of a woman and born under the law. This son is our Lord Jesus Christ. This woman is the mother Mary with whom today we refer to as Mary, mother of God. When you look at the gospel according to Luke, as from verse one, as chapter one, verse 32 forwards, we see that there's a, there's a connection or there's that engagement between Mary and the angel. When the angel appears to Mary and he tells Mary, you will you'll bear a child, you'll conceive a child in your womb, and this son, you'll call him Jesus, simply because he's the son of the Most High. We continue seeing that Mary continue, is having a dialogue with the angel, and the angel tells him, he asks the angel, how will this be possible? Yet I know no man. Then the angel tells Mary, worry not, because it will be by the power of the Holy Spirit, and that which will give birth will be holy, because he is the Son of God. These two affirms Mary as the mother of God. We see as from chapter 42, when Mary goes to visit Elizabeth, we see that Elizabeth addresses Mary as the mother of God. How comes that today I've been visited by the mother of God? And we are told that the young and unborn baby in the womb of Elizabeth leaped because he was able to tell that Mary was carrying what is divine. Here we see that Mary is also brought out so clearly as the mother of God. And actually, when you read about St. Louis Maria de Comfort, he tells us, whoever does not have Mary for mother does not have God for a father, simply because Mary is the mother of God. When we conclude and look at the gospel according to Matthew, as from chapter 1, verses 20, we see that the angel appears to Joseph and he tells Joseph, Worry not, do not fear to take Mary 
as your wife because that which she's carrying, it's by the power of the Holy Spirit. So as today too, let's not fear and hesitate to take Mary into our hearts, into our homes, into our workplaces, because she's the mother of God. And being the mother of God, she's, she's always willing and ready to intercede for us. Just as she did during the wedding at Canaan, do whatever he tells you to do. Mary, mother of God, pray for us. The family that prays together stays together.